thought it was a, an amazing performance. Um, I'm really looking forward to seeing Liam Neeson in, in uh, Schindler's List because I think he's a, an extraordinary actor. Now, wh what sets the Golden Globes uh, aside from some of the other awards? What do they mean personally to you? Well, um, I think there's a sense with the Golden Globes that, that, that uh, they're perhaps a tad more objective because, um, you know, people, uh, there aren't sort of huge campaigns for them and uh, I think that, you know, the foreign press is pretty uh, objective about what they thought was a swell. Um, we're very aware that there are huge campaigns for, for nominations for Oscars. So, but also, I mean, I think it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a really good kind of forerunner, and it starts people thinking about who they think was really the best this year. That's always some of the, the, the most fun parts of watching the awards show, seeing how many that you get right. And you know, when I introduced you, I should have said, and, and please take this as a compliment, that you dress up better as a woman than anybody, I think, in the entertainment world. And I think that's, that's quite a compliment. And actually, I saw you recently, too, on uh, Tales of the Dark Side. That was amazing. Tales from the Crypt. Oh, Tales yeah. from, I'm sorry, yes, Tales yeah. from the Crypt, that's right. That was amazing, and your film is doing quite well. What are some of the other uh, projects that you're working on? Um, I'm making a film now called The Shadow at Universal with Russell Mulcahy and uh, starring Alec Baldwin. It's a sort of um, rather creepy Peter Lorre sort of role. I know, you always... Uh, well, I've got the patent leather hair. Ah, uh, if people s seem to cast you in those creepy roles, why do you think that is? Well, I played one or two quite sunny people. Quite one or two, but people. most... Well, because, you know, they're the most fun to play, really. I mean, you know, the dark corners of the human mind are always fun, don't you think? <laughs> were you a big fan of those kind of films when you were little? Oh, sure, yes. And particularly of Peter Lorre, so this is a kind of little homage for me. Peter Lorre scared the heck out of me, actually, as a matter of fact. Now, uh, we were talking earlier before, and you said you had a favorite, right, a favorite film? that uh, was nominated? Um, well, I enjoyed in the, uh, the Remains of the Day very much. I suspect that I'm just going to really like Schindler's List when I see it. I'm really looking forward to seeing that, and it's only just opened, and I haven't, I've been working, so I haven't had a chance to see it. But I, I, I have a feeling that that's the one for me. And what about this is the first time that you're really doing a co-hosting job? Mm. Uh, are you excited about that or a little nervous? Because it's a lot. I think both. I mean, you know, one will try to amuse, I imagine. <laughs> Have you worked with Faye before? No, but we used to, we used to share the same car service in London. Um, and we've, you know, met a few times. Um, and I'd always hear, hear her name over the radio in the car. It, so uh, we'll be reunited soon. Well, good. And we look forward to that. That is, again, the 22nd of January. If you're not around, get your VCRs set. It will be live exclusively right here from this hotel, the Beverly Hilton Hotel. Tim Curry will be a co-host, and it will be 10 p.m. Eastern time. Don't forget that. Tim, pleasure to see you. See you then. Thanks.